your questions. Um, we got about 15 minutes here with CJ, so we'll go ahead and start working our way around the room. Go ahead and get those questions in. Daryl Bird, we will start with you. Thanks, sir. Appreciate you doing this, CJ. I'm, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the last time you were at Rupp Arena, you were winning a state championship and being named MVP of the tournament. I wonder how surreal it is to be coming back to that venue. Yeah, it's uh, something super special to me. Um, I was able to lead my high school team to a state championship at Rupp. Um, and everyone that plays in the Kentucky State basketball tournament kind of knows that feeling of getting to Rupp and how special um, that arena is and what it takes to get there. So I'm excited to do the same thing with this team, just come in and help this team do whatever it needs to do to win um, and create, create more memories at Rupp Arena. All right, Jerry Tipton, we'll go to you next. Yeah, CJ, I, you know, Kentucky fans, they like to see an in-state player come and play for Kentucky. How, how does that play on your mind to be kind of that guy? And is there some pressure involved? Um, I, have, I don't really feel any pressure about it. Um, I just see it as a great opportunity for me to come in and just get better um, and help this team win. I love to win. Um, so I just see it as an opportunity. Um, it's going to be great for my family to be able to be closer to the games. My grandma can go, come to the games. Mom, dad, aunts, uncles all live in the kind of the area. So I just see it as a great opportunity for me. All right, we will move on to John Hale and then Kent, you'll be after him. John, you there? Yeah, can you hear me? Yep, there you go. Okay, sorry. Uh, CJ, you played a really important role for Iowa for two years. So I'm curious, just what kind of was your motivation to make the move? And it felt like people thought this was a, a kind of preordained thing. You'd pick Kentucky, but I assume it probably wasn't quite that easy. So just what was your thought process as you were making a decision? Yeah, um, I just kind of wanted something new. Um, I loved my time at Iowa. Um, I had great, three great years there. I loved the people there. They were great to me. They felt um, they made me feel at home. Um, when I first stepped on campus. So I'm forever grateful for the opportunity they have given me and how great the fans and the people were to me. You know, I have, I met my best friends at that school. So um, I wish nothing but the best for them. And obviously, you know, they're going to hold a special place in my heart for that. Um, but yeah, like I said, I just wanted something new. Um, I felt like it was best for me in my career um, to make this move and just develop more as a player, a teammate, a person. Um, and like I said, I'm just really excited for this opportunity. Um, Kentucky in no way had reached out to me before the portal. Um, I went through the whole recruiting process when I was in the portal. And I, like I said, I just felt like this was the best opportunity for me. I took my time. I went through all the information and this is the place that I felt was best for me in my career. CJ, this is Ken, CJ, this is uh, Ken Spencer with WHAS 11 in, in Louisville. When you decided it and you were looking for something new was Kentucky in your mind though because I mean obviously it, it is you know an hour hour and a half away from from home oh uh, yeah definitely I'm I kind of being around the area I kind of know what it it means to play on this team I never thought it would happen um, like I'm just super excited that it did happen um, but I knew that I was going to go to a team that needed me and coach Cal was actually one of the first people to call me when I entered the portal. And the minute I talked to him, I could feel a genuine need for me to come in and help lead a team and help make shots um, and help spread the floor. And um, that was something I really, um, really liked and enjoyed talk to, talking with him about. John Wong, we'll go to you. And then uh, Daryl, I'll circle back to you. Hey, CJ, how much contact have you had with some of your future teammates? And what about their games excites you about being able to play with them? Yeah, um, a lot of them actually reached out when I committed. So I thought that was super cool, um, super special, just um, reaching out, saying they were excited to have me. And then today, actually, a lot of the guys um, kind of got a group chat together and just kind of put names in. Um, but I'm really excited to get down there and just grow with them and learn more about them and create relationships with them. Um, I love all their games, they're special players. I mean, I think this team this year, um, everyone fits. And I think you're seeing kind of a complete team. Um, and I'm just really excited to get to work with them and uh, get better with them and go on this journey. 
Daryl, back to you. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. CJ, I think you signed early with, with Iowa. I wonder, did Kentucky recruit you at all coming out of high school? And did you kind of wish you waited that Sweet 16 performance may have got you a scholarship later on? <laughs> um, no, Kentucky didn't recruit me in high school. Um, I kind of was, I was locked in on Iowa um, throughout the whole state tournament. Um, I was honored by that commitment and that opportunity. So I never really thought of a different opportunity. Um, but like I said, I'm super excited for this opportunity now. Um, something as a kid, I never, I never thought would happen. You think you're better prepared to play at Kentucky now than you would have been coming out of high school? If so, oh, much, much more. Uh, my game has just evolved in so many ways. Um, I'm just more mature on the court. Um, in high school, I kind of just went out and played. And now being in college, I've kind of been able to read the game more. There's so much about the game that you just kind of have to sit back and learn more about. Um, and I feel just control on the court. I can read things a step before it happens. So um, with the right development and with the right people, I think I can really excel. Cool. Thank you. Jerry, you've got next and then John Hale, come back to you. Yeah, CJ, I wonder with all the athletes in your family, uh, what was the likelihood that you wouldn't be involved in athletics? And how do you think that helped you, you know, to have the, the athletic genes? Yeah, that's funny you said that. I was talking about someone that, uh, I was talking about that the other day with someone. Uh, when I was a freshman in high school, I played on my freshman team um, and I really wasn't that good at basketball. And I kind of felt just pressure on myself, like, wow, I mean, my family um, is really, predominant in this area for basketball. And I just kind of thought I would be letting them down. Um, but my sophomore year, I took a jump. I grew, kind of thinned out and just lived in the gym and got better. And thankfully an opportunity to play at Iowa came up. Um, and I just try to carry the family legacy as much as I can. You know, it started with my grandpa, he passed away. He was an AD at um, Green Hills. Uh, he was some, someone really special to me. And, you know, he would have loved for me to play on this team. So that's something I keep with me moving forward. Thanks. Yeah, hold on a second. Go ahead, John. Sorry about that. You, say, you uh, mentioned the, or you were asked earlier about the in-state kind of focus for Kentucky fans sometimes. I'm curious, do you actually consider yourself a Kentuckian or do you consider yourself an Ohioan being from Cincinnati? How, how do you make that distinction for yourself? That's a good question. I've kind of been all over. I live in Cincinnati, Ohio. I would wake up in the morning and drive over the bridge to cuff calves. It was really an easy drive for me. Um, and then I played AU basketball in Indiana. So I've been all over the place. Um, I'm from Cincinnati and that's always going to be where I'm from. I love this city um, and everything about it. But as I got older and played high school basketball in Kentucky, um, that was a new family for me. My grandparents lived up the street. All my family lived up the street. So I have been going to Cup Cath games and over to Northern Kentucky since I was a little kid. And I always feel like that's home. Um, so I feel like I just have two great homes. <laughs> I know that's weird to say, but I have family in both areas. Um, and I consider myself uh, home both ways. Ken, I'm coming back to you and then John after that. CJ, you kind of touched on a little bit before, but what was Calipari's you know, recruiting pitch and, and the message to you? Uh, yeah, the, I kind of, the minute I talked to him, he just has this competitive drive, even when he's talking to you. And I'm a competitive person, I love to win. So the conversations, the conversations with him were really cool. Um, one thing specifically I liked about him, he didn't just sit there and tell me how great I was. Um, we, we went through film and he showed me ways that I need to get better um, and show me ways that I can improve my game. So that's something I really uh, respected from him. And I felt like I'd be in good hands with him um, as, as it came with developing. Um, but right away, he just, I felt a need. He told me he needed me to come in and just make shots, uh, set an example for these guys, come in the gym every day and work. Um, and that's something I love to do. I did it in high school, did it in college. So um, I felt needed and I felt like this was the place for me. John Wong, go ahead. CJ, you seem like a pretty confident person. What's probably your biggest concern about getting into this new situation right now? That's a good question. I'll have to think about that. I think 
basketball wise, I'm not concerned about anything. It's just a super exciting opportunity for me. Um, I'm kind of coming in, just learning everything, learning about the campus, meeting the guys, um, getting the school, summer school, all that stuff just arranged. But I wouldn't say a concern. I think just getting on campus and meeting the guys is definitely the first priority and creating a relationship with them, but nothing I'm too concerned about. Do you have an existing major picked out? Um, I think I might do something with communications, um, something, something around there. Thank you. You guys got a few more minutes left here with CJ. If you got some more questions, uh, we'll circle back to John Hale. CJ, it seems like Cal has really placed an emphasis on shooting as he's built this roster in the off season. How much did he talk to you about that, if at all? And, and, and how much do you think that could be a real strength between you and Dante and, and Kellen and all those different guys? Yeah, he had um, he had said how much he loved his roster already, and he felt like he was just missing a couple pieces to come in and complete the team. And I think everyone that's been added, we have a really complete team. Um, you're gonna you got a lot of shooting with Dante, Kellen, me, other guys. Um, we got two elite point guards. Um, we got athletes, rebounders. It's a complete team. Um, and when everything I talked to Cal about, he wants me to kind of make shots, but he also knows that I'm more than just a shooter, um, can make plays off the bounce, um, read the floor, play good defense. Um, so yeah, I'm just excited to, um, to meet the guys and get this thing rolling. Guys, I don't have, currently have any other quote. Actually we do, Kent, go ahead. CJ, and, and did you say when you, when you talked to Cal, you got a sense that he was motivated is that what you said? 100%. You can tell when he was talking, he just, um, he wants to win as badly as I want to win. So I kind of knew this was going to be a good fit. Did, did you, did you get a sense that that motivation comes from, from, you know, they had a bad season last year, that that motivation comes from that and getting this thing turned around? I don't think it all comes from that. Um, I think that's just who he is as a person. He loves to win and he loves to get better. Um, I'm sure they're going to, we're all going to want to, just a, a better season next season. And that's the goal. You know, we're hungry for to get back on top and um, create a great atmosphere um, at Rupp Arena again. I'm so excited for that. But I think that's just who he is as a person. And that's who I am as a person, a person just really competitive, do whatever it takes to win. Um, and that's why it worked out. Hey, I'll come back to you. Thanks, Eric. Yes, see, I'm curious about the, the challenges you saw kind of fitting in in Iowa as a true freshman, because now it's not, you've got true freshmen, you've got transfers coming in, you've got existing players. It seems like that challenge might be greater than it's ever been as far as blending, getting to know each other, especially early on. Right. Um, I'm coming into a totally different um, atmosphere. You know, I'm going to have to change a lot. I'm playing in the Big Ten. The SEC is a little different, um, but it's something I'm excited for. Like you said, the game's evolving. You know, you got transfers. Um, red shirts, true freshmen, um, with me being kind of an older guy, um, try to take on the leadership role a little bit. Um, and just, like I said, also just really excited getting to campus and meeting the guys, but, um, it's something I'm really looking forward to. Guys, we got anything else here for CJ before we cut him loose? All right, well, uh, we'll end it there. CJ, I want to thank you for your time and uh, make us time for everyone on here. Look forward to getting.